Welcome back to the Talos Principle. Let's move into this new land and see what awaits us. I love the music. Wonder if there might be something hidden in the water. Of course, the first thing I'm doing is going everywhere but straight. Let's keep scouting this place out before I get into a puzzle. I want to continue following up this train of thought. a box float. Seriously, it was awesome. Wait, boxes can float? Hmm. I've, I don't think I've ever been in a situation where I could test that, but now that that's been planted in my mind, now I really want to test it. Possible secret potentiality of this place? 75%. This feels like a place that has secrets. I can smell it. Maybe not. Unless what I'm seeing out there is somehow a secret. I doubt it. here. There are hidden dangers in this new world. I've inexplicably escaped death any number of times. I suggest vigilance. Who knows what happens to those who step carelessly too often. Oh, nothing happens to you. I'm sure it's fine. Right? I mean, I guess I haven't died too many times. 
Could something bad happen? I suppose. Oh, there's a computer over there. Let's go explore that right now. Let's go the other way first. Capacity. From Trevor Donovan to Alexandra Drennan. Uh, hold on, Trevor Donovan. Let me see who you are first. Trevor. Trevor Donovan, he is the EL hardware person. Okay. about the EL capacity. Yeah, no worries. EL is not only ridiculously fast, it also has a bazillion tons of space. Even while hosting a full copy of the archive, it'll totally be able to handle all your project's data needs. Assuming its output is as you suggested. I mean, the worst case scenario would be like, centuries. That should be enough, right? Right? Um, <laughs> apparently not. So I guess it's been centuries. Mutation. The role of mutation in evolution is particularly fascinating. Mutation is essentially an error in the organism's central database. A variable gets changed. A piece of information is accidentally doubled or combined with another. Most of the time, the result is the equivalent of a bug causing anything from minor problems to complete system shutdown, i.e. death. But sometimes the new information is functional, giving the organism an advantage against the challenges it faces, in which case it has a much higher chance of being passed to the next generation. If you consider how unlikely a beneficial mutation is, and how long it takes for such a mutation to propagate, this process can give you an amazing insight into just how vast the genetic history of each living organism Blah, blah, blah. Simultaneously, it is intriguing to consider what a major role random errors have played in the evolution of life itself. The same process that has killed so many of us, often in horrific ways, is also responsible for our very existence. I wonder if that was perhaps the project's intention. Perhaps it was some sort of directed evolution kind of thing, where maybe it maybe it introduced kind of errors in the personalities of the people being put through these obstacle courses, in the hopes that eventually one would come across, you know, one would one would finally be able to solve it. But the the chance that one person or one I shouldn't say person, the chance that one. Artificial intelligence would just have like a little error and somehow that little error would allow it to solve the entire thing? That seems unlikely. Mm, it seems more likely that perhaps the little error would allow an AI to get just a little bit further than the previous ones. And then a new AI would be made based off of the old one thereby taking the good parts of it and then mutating it again to try to get further? I mean, you'd need to use the previous version if you want to make any progress, right? You know, you'd need to pass on your genes, so to speak. And the thing I just read back back in the tower was talking about how Humans make robots, so maybe the humans are kind of like the insects 
it's kind of like the same relationship between humans and robots as the same relationship between insects and plants. I wonder if I'm just like building another version of me that's going to be better than me. Like, am I just another body that the others are going to step on? Just a tiny stepping stone towards something? Anyway, there's some stuff here to translate from hexadecimal, but I'll do that in a second, because there might be something to translate in evolution as well. Indeed there is. Favorited by George Jameson. One of the most common misunderstandings about evolution, sometimes accidentally promoted by people who should know better, is that it's an active process. Sometimes the term evolve is even applied to individual beings, as if some invisible force had driven them to suddenly change. But the truth is that individuals don't evolve. The term evolution describes a long-term process that can be observed in an entire population across time due to... something something. Example, in response to an external threat or challenge. If an individual coincidentally has a trait that allows it to deal with that challenge more effectively than others, it is more likely to pass on that information to its descendants. That information gives them an advantage. So over time, they become the dominant model of that species. The individuals experience no significant genetic change during their lifetimes, but each of them is part of the evolution of the species. Indeed, that is very true. But if this was intended to be something that... Well, hmm. Hmm. Okay, I just had a thought. I, I just had a... an interesting thought. See, I was thinking if... They just left this thing running. I mean, it seems like what they did is they just left the simulation running, and they... I want to say allowed errors, but I don't think allow is really the right word. I mean, errors just naturally happen. They, they just let this run. They knew that the artificial intelligences that were spawned would in some way differ because of errors or something like that. You know, genetic diversity, what have you. And so they're trying to mimic evolution, but I, see, what I was thinking, which I think might be a mistake, is that it would take too long. Because evolution takes an incredible amount of time. And that guy was just talking about, like, centuries... Like, centuries should be enough, right? Like, it would take centuries to overflow how much storage space they have. I was thinking it would take too much time, but... I'm thinking of real-world time. But this is a simulation. And because it's a simulation, perhaps the actual real-world time is very little in comparison to... You know, how fast these simulations are going. So maybe it wouldn't take hundreds of thousands of years... If you can simulate... Millions or billions of artificial intelligences, like, within uh, a minute. Or an hour, or a day. Okay, so I'm going to do some hexadecimal translating, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the translations for both of these. Uh, this is the one on mutation. So this stuff right here translates into life from error. So it doesn't really fit in with the sentence, it's just kind of out of place. But yes, life from error. Which is indeed what mutations are. Or at least what they allow. And then the other one. Evolution. So this translated simply says iteration. And that's it. So nothing particularly exciting. Let's move that back over there. Back to the other scene. Okay. Hey, hey. Why is there a ladder there? It looks like a place you're not supposed to get to. But if there's a ladder there, then surely you are supposed to get there. Hmm. Hmm. 
maybe if I had a box. Maybe if I could jump on top of this, I could jump off it through the window. I mean, could I even fit through this damn window? Maybe. Certainly not from here, though. Oh, but maybe. Maybe there. Hmm. I don't think so. Well, I'll keep that in mind for later. Okay, let's do an actual puzzle. I feel like it's been a while since I've actually done a normal puzzle. Everything's been more of the... kind of figuring out the puzzle of the game itself. Looking for hidden switches. Something about a star. Hmm. Oh, that's weird. They're just throwing the star right in front of my face. Huh, usually they try to hide him. Obviously it's going to be extremely hard to get. Alright, so it needs red power. And of course I only have blue power visible, so chances are that's going to have to come from a different puzzle room if I want red power. What you're intended to do here, because this is obviously not going to work. No, of course not. And let me just test, can these connectors stop these things from moving? They can, okay. And let me just test something else. I want to know if the paint can work any magic. Maybe the paint can stop the robots. That's extremely unlikely. But I just want to try it. Nope. Didn't think so. Right. Well, <laughs> this is interesting. I don't really have a lot to work with here. might actually not be possible to solve this puzzle just yet. I mean, there's nowhere I could lift it up, is there? I mean, I can't access it from here, so... There's nothing to prop it up on. Well, hold on. Yeah, I mean, you can just do that. Computer! I hear you! I know you're there. It's calling to me. It wants me. I need to get up on these damn walls. There's stuff out there. So yeah, I think all I'm supposed to learn here is just that if you put this in the center... Then... Basically it's gonna get cut in half, kind of... Like at twice the frequency, pretty much. So if you put it all the way to one side, then that's gonna be the... Longest time you possibly have, I guess? I think that's what it's trying to teach me. It worked, at least. 
Yeah, I can't do anything about the gold star at the moment. Ain't got no red power. I wasn't hearing this computer, was I? Maybe I was hearing this one. Oh wait, I was. Hello? Support session! Hello again, I... I wish I could shut the thing up in the background. Anyway, hello again. I've been checking your responses against library archives, and in order to assist you further, I need some additional information. Can you tell me, what is to you the important difference between a pebble and a tree? A tree is alive. Good. Now, what is the relevant difference between a tree and a frog? A frog is conscious. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's try something harder. What's the difference between a frog and you? What makes you a person? Hmm. I have feelings. Well, frogs do too. I'm rational. Are frogs rational? Well, are people rational? Not really. I'm self-aware. That is the answer I've been contemplating as well. Though I'm not convinced that that view lines up with the definition of a person you provided earlier. Still, doubting your assumptions isn't something to fear. It's an intellectual survival instinct. I'm pleased to see you adapting your ideas to your environment. Let us take stock. I think we can tentatively conclude two things. A person must be rational or self-aware. And a person must be conscious. What I suggest we do to help resolve your problem is ask whether you are in fact those things. Are you aware of yourself? Can you rationalize your existence? Rationalize my existence? I'm not quite sure what you mean by that. Yes? I tend to agree with you. Though your responses so far have been a little eccentric, I am resigned to admit that you are right. The matter of whether or not you are conscious seems rather more elusive. What is consciousness, in your opinion? Good question. What is consciousness? Consciousness is a byproduct of the brain? That doesn't really clarify anything. That's what separates us from animals? Well, not... what kinda? I mean, we kinda are animals, although I'm an artificial intelligence, so I'm not an animal in any way, but... Uh... Well, consciousness is not just the feelings and senses. That's certainly part of it. I don't think you can be conscious without those things, but that's not it. I mean, frogs have feelings and they have senses. Um. I, I don't really know. It's, it would, it's gonna be one of these two ones on the right. Feeling and senses. Consciousness is far outside my area of expertise. <laughs> That's true, it is. As weird as that sounds, given that you are conscious, uh, just because you're conscious doesn't mean you're an expert at consciousness. Consciousness is the feelings and senses. That hardly answers the question. What is it in ordinary terms? Can I touch it? What is it made of? Ah. Consciousness is a complex functional system. Interesting. You know, I really feel like we're making progress. 
We'll have you through that certification program in no time. In the meantime, I will mull over your proposal and notify you if I come to any conclusions. Hmm. Now, for the love of God, stop. I want to float a box so bad. You've implanted that idea in my head, you bastard. Was it you? Yeah, it was you. Damn, you ate version 42.1.0116. Window through a door. We have more of these Anoyatrons. Look at how wonderfully textured the stones are. Like swirling scrapes and stuff like that. The texture work is really wonderful. Alright, so if I put this to the extreme of one side... Yeah, that has enough time. I just don't understand this one. I figured I'd try and make some progress here, but honestly, it's such a thankless task compared to what else is out there. Well, I probably need to utilize utilize this window here for something. Just not sure what. Oh wait, I know what. Oh yeah, I know exactly what. Or do I? Do I know what? I thought I did, now it's gone. I mean, if I could route the power through here, then I don't need to deal with the damn annoying thing. Well, hold on. L let's just see what the problem even is, if I just do this this way. Yeah, so I'm guessing this is just going to take too long. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay. Yeah, so I need to route the power through the window. But then... Hmm. It's kind of like a... How do I order this correctly? Because I need... Huh. This would be going through there. Okay, yeah, so... I need to do this while this thing is open. Because I need to route the power through here, which means I need to keep this open, and this needs to already be open for me to be able to route it through. It's going to be a very kind of tenuous system, where if I block one of the uh, one of the beams, the whole thing comes crashing down. So I still need this... Thing. I don't know if it's going to be able to open it. Yeah, it does. Well, I mean, I could just also block the damn thing, but I don't have enough connectors to do that, right? I don't think so. See, so, yeah, I need to route it like this, but... 
Obviously, I can't actually go through the force field. So that means I need this as an area where I can access it from both ends. There we go. Yeah, that, that should work. Then I can do this. Now this one is completely mine. Yeah, so if I yeah, if I mess up any of these beams, the whole thing comes crashing down and I have to do it again, but I don't need to do it again. Bingo! The sweet, sweet feeling of success. Now... Now, let's get some red juice going over this way. To the other side to see if I can get that star. Is that really it? That seems so unbelievably simple. I mean, I've been doing the whole get power from across the level thing for ages. Make a box float. Alright, how many puzzles are left? Three? Mm-hmm. Let's go here. Over the fence. A box. Yes. Multiple boxes. Box eye. That's a short fence. That's a very, very simple puzzle. Seems to literally be just do that, and then of course I need it on the other side. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Give me that back, thank you. Nothing special in there, is there? Nope. Alright, so solving that puzzle itself is simple, but... This is the place with the ladder on the other side. So... I need to get... Either... Um... Let's see, what do I need to do? I'm trying to think if I can get these boxes completely out of here, or just over there. I mean, if I get the box over there, I suppose I could maybe take it with me through the window and then make it float. Is there anything actually there, though? That's the that's the weird thing. There's a ladder. But is there anything actually there? I don't even know if the box would fit through the window. Is there a low point in the fence? Not really, but there's a high point in the ground here. I can't jump up on two boxes, though. I'm going to mess around with this for a minute and I'll be right back.
Well, I hate to say it, but I think these boxes have defeated me. No matter how hard I try, I just can't jump on a stack of two boxes. I've noticed that in the environment there's only like one sort of area in this in this particular puzzle place that has um, an elevation above that of the normal ground. And that's these little piles of rubble. So they raise me up slightly. Very, very slightly. At least I think they do. You know what, maybe it's, it might even be just in my imagination. Now I'm pretty sure they do. But it's very slight and it's not enough. I've tried some tricks using this uh, jammer to kind of like, like I've tried placing the jammer underneath me to try to kind of push me onto the boxes and so far that has managed to get me stuck twice and forced a couple resets. So if I do this, it kind of pushes me into it, but it doesn't push me on top of the box, it pushes me into the box, which doesn't seem to help. What the hell? What did I even just do? What the hell? I didn't know that was possible. Some weird behavior here. Yeah, that is not working properly. No, so you can get some weird stuff to happen, but uh, nothing that's happening is what I want. And I'm stuck. Well, okay, not anymore. Yes, the character controller seems very particular about how you do the boxes. If it isn't satisfied that you're actually standing on top of the box properly, it doesn't seem to allow you to jump again. As you can see, I can't jump there. I don't even know. So yeah, that doesn't seem to be working, but I think there's something more going on there. I just need to figure out what. Also, by the way, I just realized I now have 10 stars. I, I can finally go into the star room. Oh. I am going to do that. But I think I'm going to do that and save the next two puzzles for this zone for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.